It's a great thrill to present the show. It's been touring for five years and this will be its final venue. The show started at an institution in Paris called Le Bal and they asked me for a, an experimental exhibition. The invitation was as open as that and I had for a long time been fascinated by this photograph that was made by Man Ray or perhaps it was Man Ray and Marcel Duchamp, this peculiar image of dust gathering on the sheet of glass in the studio of Duchamp in New York. I thought that would be an interesting starting point for an exhibition and that maybe with that one photograph and its relation to many, many other photographs, an interesting story could be told about the last 100 years. And so in the show, you have all kinds of material. There are press photographs, there are artworks, there are books, there are magazines, there are very large pictures, there are very small pictures, there are images that are very obscure and anonymous, there are images by very famous uh, image makers, there is film and video and all together they form a kind of cloud of possibilities and connections that all come right the way back to that photograph taken in 1920. So it's a very speculative risk-taking exhibition and I'm very pleased that uh, the museum there saw the merits of that risk-taking. So that invitation really is handed over to the viewers, the audiences that comes to see the show, wherever it goes in the world. So it started in Paris, it's also been in London, it's been in New York, it's been in California, it's been in Vancouver, it's been in Toronto. And we're finding that the show has a kind of universal appeal Although it's very, its imagery is, is very strange in places and there are not many people in the exhibition, no, no photographs of people or portraits really uh, to speak of, there is something that everyone can connect with somehow. After all, dust is a universal phenomenon. It might be very strange and very obscure, but we all have some kind of a relation to it. And you find that many artists and photographers have had a relation to, to dust over the last century. It's been a century that has created a lot of dust, metaphorically and actually. And the show is really an exploration of all of those things. I've been working very closely in the development of the show there and how it's presented, and I'm sure it will look as beautiful as it's looked everywhere else. This is David Campany, the curator of A Handful of Dust from the Cosmic to the Domestic. Uh, I'm thrilled that the exhibition is with you now. So it's over to all of you to enjoy the show and to interpret it whichever way you like. <laughs>